Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. With the fiscal cliff out of the way, now comes the hard part, filing your tax return. Since Congress took so long to pass the legislation, the question is, will the IRS delay the date for filing? Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with the details. Well, usually the tax filing season begins in January. The IRS, though, has not announced whether it will even be ready. Consider is laid on the table. Last night, lawmakers passed a measure preventing automatic tax hikes from hitting millions of Americans. But the deal took a long time, eating away at the time the IRS takes to prepare for the 2013 tax season. Now the IRS has to reformat its computers to accommodate the changes. In a statement to Eyewitness News, the IRS says it is currently reviewing the details of this week's tax legislation and assessing what impact it will have on this year's filing season. The IRS will soon make available additional information on when taxpayers can start filing 2012 tax returns, as well as updated withholding tables for employers and payroll companies. If the IRS has to delay the 2013 tax filing season, what does this mean to Rhode Islanders filing their state tax returns? As long as the IRS can really change their programs very quickly, there we shouldn't see any or very slight delay. Rhode Island Tax Administrator David Sullivan is optimistic the tax season will start on time with Rhode Island's beginning January 22nd. For Rhode Island purposes, there will be no delay. Um, our, most people want to file. Most people want to file both joint federal and state, but if you're due a refund from the state, you want to get it in as early as possible. Now, the IRS is expected to announce whether the tax filing season will start on time, which would be January 21st. It could be in the next few hours or a few days. We'll, of course, keep you posted. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan. Eyewitness News.